Hello friends! Welcome to my kitchen! Today I'm going to show you how to make French macarons shaped as a clair, filled with white chocolate, rose ganache and raspberry confit. Are you ready? Let's get started! show you how I make rose ganache. I have white chocolate, I have cold heavy cream, I have glucose syrup and I have rose water. I'm gonna melt my white chocolate in the microwave using 20 seconds intervals. You can also use double boiler method to melt chocolate. I'm gonna heat up my heavy cream and glucose syrup over medium heat just make sure you're not gonna boil this heavy cream, just make it warm. I warm up my heavy cream with the glucose syrup. I did not boil, I just brought to the simmer. Just wanna make sure the glucose syrup combined with the heavy cream. And I semi-melted my white chocolate in the microwave next step I'm doing, I'm going to add part of the heavy cream to my white chocolate, about a third of that. And using spatula, I'm going to mix my white chocolate, slightly pressing down. This is normal, don't be afraid, I promise. It's gonna look good. Now I'm gonna add my second part of the heavy cream to white chocolate and I'm continuing mixing with the spatula. You have to do it fast and pressing down. Doesn't matter really what direction you're going, left or right. It looks much better already. Now I'm going to pour the rest of the heavy cream, just make sure you get every drop. And I'm going to continue mixing my white chocolate. And you'll see when you add third part of the heavy cream, the chocolate mixture will come together, it's not separating. When you add first part of the heavy cream, you're probably going to be a little scared what you did, but it's normal. We're just using this method for white chocolate. And I like it because the amount of heavy cream and white chocolate, it's not the same. We have more white chocolate and less heavy cream. So this method to make ganache works better for white chocolate. See how smooth it is already? Make sure you grab uh, white chocolate from the bottom of this plastic cup and there is no any pieces of white chocolate left. So the next step, we're going to add some rose water. I'm using this one. And the thing about rose water, you can't add too much or you can end up with a kind of soap ganache. <laughs> we don't want this. I'm going to add about 1 8 of the teaspoon for this amount I'm using. I'm going to add straight to my ganache mixture. And now I'm going to use my emulsify blender to make a mush.
See how smooth it is? Shiny. And I wish you can smell this rose water. It smells so good. Just stir a little bit with this blender. Make sure there is no pieces left. I usually like to do um, about five to 10 seconds, but twice. And you don't wanna do uh, with the blender for too long because you're warming up the ganache mixture, which can end up separating this ganache. And you don't want this. Now again, with that same spatula, I'm gonna clean up the sides of this cup and touch the bottom, mix it. Just wanna make sure there is nothing left on the bottom. The next step to make a mash, I'm using this plate and I'm gonna transfer this ganache to my plate. Just wanna make sure I don't grab anything in this plastic cup. like to give a little shake now I'm gonna cover this ganache with a plastic wrap and we're gonna cover to contact that means plastic wrap needs to touch the ganache I'm using my hand to press If you end up having little or big bubbles, all you have to do, just pull this plastic wrap, just shake it and cover again. You can do from different sides. And just like this, I'm gonna leave this ganache on my countertop for about an hour. And then I'm gonna place in a fridge. I'm gonna use my spatula and kind of mix this ganache, just make sure it's the right consistency for piping. You see how shiny and smooth it is. Smells like rose. It's time to fill rose raspberry macarons. For these macarons, I made shells. I used pink and I used just white food coloring. As you can see, I made some round macaron shells. And I made this eclair looking macaron shells. I call them, they call them a clairalon. So as you, as you see, I made some round macarons and I made this shape of macaron. Looks like a clair. And on my blog you can find the recipe and also this printable template that you can use to pipe those shells. It's free to download and use. You just simply need to put under your baking mat, pipe, that's simple. 
I used pink and I just used white food coloring. So this is my sh macaron shells. The ganache is ready and I'm gonna check. I'm gonna show you my ganache. It's been on a countertop for a few hours already. And how do you know that the ganache is ready? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna tell you how to check if ganache is ready for piping. With, with your fingers or your hand, you simply touch that ruffle. You simply need to touch with your fingers. And if you feel that ganache is soft and it's good for piping, then it's ready. Also, when you gonna remove that plastic wrap, it should be removed so easily. You see how easy to remove? That means ganache is ready. Now it's time to fill macarons. For this rose raspberry macarons, I made shells looking like this. I used pink color and I left white color. Actually, I didn't even use color for these shells. And I made some round macaron shells and I made a clear looking macaron shells. I also made a printable template on my blog with the recipe. You can download and use it to pipe and make macaron shells like this. So it's free to download. Simply you just need to put under your baking mat and pipe. And you're gonna have macaron shells like this. I just thought that it's gonna be a little fun to make different shapes. And I also piped the small macaron shells. So let's do this. I have my raspberry confit in a bag and as you see it's kind of hard so I cut little tip and I kind of gave a little massage. It's gonna make uh, this raspberry confit to pipe easily and it's gonna have this soft consistency in the middle of the macaron. I also have my white chocolate with rose water ganache. When you touch ganache with your fingers, it should be soft. So that means it's good for piping. If it's hard and you've been keeping it in the fridge, so let it just to um, kind of adjust to the room temperature. Uh, when you move the plastic bag from the ganache, you see how it's coming off so easily? I mean, it's good for piping. Wilton 1A round tip and Wilton 4B. It's a start tip. And now let's fill this macarons. I'm using round tip first. And now I'm gonna fill with the raspberry confit in the middle.
when you fill it with the white chocolate ganache and raspberry confit, we're gonna cover it with another macaron shell and slightly press. Not too much because we don't want any ganache coming off the shell. Now we're going to cover it with another macaron shell and slice the press. This how it looks. Now I'm using Wilton 4B piping tea. I'm going to fill this one in. Piping white ganache first, and then I'm gonna place this raspberry confit. And now I'm gonna sandwich with another corn shell. Don't press too much. You don't want any of the mash coming off the brown shell. That's how it looks. And I still have some ganache left. I decided to decorate the cones on top of the shell. Just place little down. And even if the mesh is already stabilized, it's still fine. Can I tell you why? It's still fine. Because we're gonna place some fresh raspberries on top. Make sure the raspberries are the same size. Okay. And then I, I can decorate with some dry rose petals. What do we have? Rose, raspberry, macaron. It's kind of look like eclair. So we can name eclair alone.